seems there it's gonna be a lot of food, so I had to prepare myself and try to eat the whole thing. Hello! What is that? That's so cool! Nice! Thank you! If you are looking for the best places to enjoy the local cuisine, dance and get some fresh cocktails in sport bars here in Wynwood, Miami, then you just clicked on the right video. Hi, I am Danny and welcome to the Viaje Travel Blog. In today's video, I will show you a few places to eat and enjoy the local cuisine. So without further ado, Wynwood Food and Nightlife. Wynwood is not only about painted walls, galleries and retail shops, it is also one of the best places to enjoy artisanal eateries, stylish bistros, bars and dance clubs. After I visited an immersive digital museum a few minutes away from Wynwood, I went to a Bacan restaurant. It is a comfortable shiny restaurant surrounded by cacti where you can get authentic Mexican cuisine. And I found this restaurant that I look in actually in Google and it shows it's like the maybe the second top restaurant right here in this area. So let's check it out. El enfoque del restaurante son tres cosas. Ajá. Uno, que utilizamos 150 tequilas y 250 tipos de mezcales para, para las margaritas y todo. Puedes combinarlo con el que tú quieras. Ok, es muy delicioso. Ahí es donde puedes encontrar proteínas como pollo, pulpo, carne, un ribeye, un chongo, un pescado entero, un resto. So the place is nice, uh, you can sit outside and also you can go inside, but the restaurant has very cool decorations, very rustic, very comfortable seats, and there's a bar in the middle. So I asked the guy who's helping me right now, and I asked him, well, what is the most popular or best plate or dish to present it for me? And he said two. The best plate of all the is the red snapper. It would be the fish that is cut in half, with two sizes, one sizes red and one sizes red. We cook it with a fire, with a fire, with a fire, super crispy, super amado. We bring a side of rice, frijoles and tortillas for you to serve your own taco. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I asked him to bring me whatever the, the good one is, so I guess it's that one, huh? Thank you. That's actually their best drink, so when I taste it, it's mezcal. It has salt, cucumber, chile. Cheers. It is very really good. My dish, it seems that it's very good. It is not maybe the first or the top uh, dish of the restaurant, but it's the second one. So I'm choosing that one. What is that? That's so cool. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> We have uh, the steak, I uh, don't know what is this, but we have corn, guacamole, and also beans. So, you can see all the beans, guacamole, cheese, I guess. So let's eat it. it features a variety of regional Mexican dishes and a large assortment of mezcal and tequila offerings. This is what I call a fun dish because I can use my hands and be creative. <laughs> the best way to eat this is by grabbing a tortilla made of corn and add all the ingredients all combined including the steak and eat it as a taco. This delicious dish was served with grilled chile filled with Oaxaca Mexican cheese, refried black beans, grilled corn, guacamole and grilled knob onion and a juicy USDA prime ribeye. Oh, that's when I eat it. Mm. So good. It is really good. Then I got a shot of mezcal with lemon and the flavor was very smooth. And that was on the house. Thank you guys. I think the best part was about to come. A good dessert after never gets old. I got the warm churros with vanilla ice cream and chocolate syrup and dulce de leches dipping sauce.
1-800 Lucky is a style of a hip Asian market with indoor and outdoor seatings and booming soundtracks. So choose any of their seven vendors from Asian dishes to Vietnamese sandwiches. You will enjoy their open dining room with two full bars and karaoke lounge. So get ready to grab that mic and sing your favorite tune. Windwood Marketplace. What can I tell you about this? Well, one of the places I had a good time and it had to happen during the FIFA World Cup is the Winwood Marketplace. It is an outdoor venue that holds weekly events and once you're inside, you can't miss the outdoor section featuring arts and crafts and food trucks and don't miss the specialty drinks at the deck Winwood with luxurious cabanas, music, live concerts and of course, worldwide sport events. To come here in Miami, Windward, which is an amazing place. You have there's a video. I'll create a video about Windward, and you can check it out right here. And as soon as I park, I start listening to the crowd yelling, screaming, and all the music. It was crazy. So as soon as I get in, you see all these people ready to watch the game. So, it's crazy! Like the other locations, Whitwood Marketplace is a hipster, casual and trendy location worth the visit. Inside, so as soon as I finish drinking my coconut, I can go back to the to the vendor, and they will cut it for me. Imagine all the vibes, all the motion right here. Everybody are just hanging around and go through different bars. There are like a one, two, three, three, four, five, six bars, different places where you can get your drinks. Tiene, tiene bastante fuerza. Ese brazo está. Hay que tener cuidado. Hay que tener cuidado. Qué chévere, gracias. Gracias. It's kind of hard to use it. So again, you start using your fingers and super soft. I cannot get away from getting more desserts. The Salty Donut is an artisanal donut shop and coffee bar and this is a chef made type of donut. This is not the traditional donuts. This is a higher level of craft donut and worth to grab some. They have a large variety of traditional glazed and other specialties like white chocolate, dressed leches, guava and cheese, maple and bacon, strawberry shortcake and many more. Finally, I couldn't stay away from food festivals, so I visited the Smorgasbord Miami. So this is a market, uh, they have different vendors where they sell traditional food from different uh, nationalities and uh, everything here really, really smells so good. We call it chuzos in Ecuador. Where are you guys from? The company is from Italian. Oh. I'm from Argentina. Oh yeah? Yeah. Celebrating? Yeah, man. Yeah? <laughs> Good game, though. 
mis compatriotas ecuatorianos, aquí estamos. ¿Y dónde está el ceviche? ¿Se fue? ¿Se acabó el ceviche? ¿De dónde son ustedes? ¿Qué parte de Ecuador? De Manta. ¿De Manta? Somos de Manta. Ah, mi cuñado es de Manta también. Somos de la ciudad de los ceviches. <risa> no hay como el ceviche de Manta. Oh, ahí tenemos ceviche. Ceviche de camarón, ¿qué más tiene? Tenemos de camarón, de pulpo, pescado, manada, que es un maíz. ¿Sí? Con todo, bastante de cilantro, a limoncito, todo. No, maní no. <risa> este es clásico de manta. Eso yo, yo lo conozco. Uh, traditional ceviche, ecuatorian ceviche. I really love. The ceviche is going to be a mix of seafood, like uh, shrimps, a fish. It's pulpo. Pulpo in Spanish and English, and now you get it. Vamos para que de Oh, sí, oh, qué rico. Se lo Las etiquetas aquí, ¿eh? Etiquetas. A ver. A ver, ¿para qué? Un poquito de promoción. Listo. ¡Síganla! ¿Tu nombre es? Erika. Erika, Erika muchas gracias. ¿eh? Aquí. ¿Cuánto tiempo llevas viviendo aquí? Uh, viniendo aquí estamos desde agosto. ¿Desde agosto? Sí. Oh. Todos los sábados estamos aquí. Ah, qué chévere. Sí. Listo, bueno. Ya, yeah, sí. Ya saben, all, all my Ecuadorian friends, every Saturday they're here. Están aquí todos los sábados. Let's taste this. So I uh, have my ceviche thanks to the thanks to my friend from Ecuador. They are from the uh, city of Manta, which is one of the places in the coast of Ecuador where they have one of the best ceviches in uh, to my opinion in South America or in America. Of course I respect the Peruvian ceviche, Mexican ceviche, they're all tasting amazing. But this is what I grew up with. I love this one. And here is the ceviche. Check it out. Actually, I'm so sorry, I lost my voice already. All right, let's see. And it is very good. What I like to do is to get this, all the plantains. You get all the plantains right here, just mash it. And put on ceviche. That's the best way to do it. If you're Ecuadorian, maybe Peruvian, you really know how to do this. If you don't know, that's my secret. That's to give it a taste. It has to be salty, by the way. Literally, there are many more restaurants and bars to visit in the district of Wynwood. Unfortunately, I could not fill all of them in one video, so keep track of my upcoming videos by subscribing to the channel and remember to hit the like button and share it with your loved ones. That's all for now. Happy New Year 2023. This is my first video of the year. I hope you enjoy it and I see you until the next one. Bye and ciao.